so today's video is very exciting because I'm doing my first ever declutter series. I've gotten a lot of requests to do this and I've battled with doing it because I love watching them but at the same time they make me cringe because it's like if they're getting rid of something I love and I'm like no don't get rid of it but it's it's all subjective and I realized I can't take any of this too seriously and hopefully you guys feel the same. Today's declutter is a blush declutter which I didn't even declutter that much because I declutter constantly. I have a lot of stuff coming in. This is one of my jobs so it's important to me to give things a chance and give an honest review and so that might mean holding on to things for a little bit longer than other things yeah so it's it's just kind of like a constant I'm feeling overwhelmed by stuff so I'm having to bring it in and then get rid of other things I did get rid of more than I thought I would but it's still nothing compared to like other declutter videos I've watched <laughs> but also blush is my weak point I love blush so freaking much so what can I say? I'm gonna be much more ruthless when it comes to like foundations and mascaras and eyeshadow and things like that. So um, this is just number one. I hope you guys enjoy it. My favorite decluttering tips are if an item brings you joy, which I learned from the um, Marie Kondo method, the life-changing magic of tidying up. Also, if I would repurchase it again, that's a big one that usually results in no for me. I'm also just like honest with myself. Like price doesn't matter. If you've already paid for it, it really doesn't matter. If you're not using it, you're not using it and you should pass it on. Just because like you like the packaging or it's like an expensive item. If it looks like crap on you, you should get rid of it. So that I just kind of used that kind of mentality. Yet at the same time, I'm not decluttering just to get rid of things, especially if it's something I haven't tried enough. So that's kind of like where I struggle because I want to give everything a fair chance because I do review things. But at the same time, if it's something I know I'm not using, that's usually the kind of thing that gets pushed out. So it's a balance. It's hard. Decluttering is fun. It makes me feel great. But uh, yeah, I encourage you to declutter and I hope that you find this somewhat inspiring. This one is not the best for decluttering, but hey, I tried. <laughs> subscribe so you don't miss more. I will have the link right here and you can click down below the little red subscribe button as well. And uh, yeah, let's get into the declutter. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so this is my entire blush collection as of right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to attempt to declutter some of this. Um, I, as I said in the intro, I declutter all the time. I declutter so much, but I still feel like it could really be pared down to my really true favorite, favorite products. So that is what we're going to attempt to do today. So I'm gonna like kind of do it in chunks because there's a lot. I have palettes, um, drugstore, MAC, high-end, cream, all this kind of stuff. So Let's lay everything out and then zoom in and get into it. Okay, so here are all of my drugstore blushes. Mostly, actually, all of them are NYX, which is great because I love NYX blushes. We're gonna start right here. Um, what I like to do, I'm sure I mentioned this in the intro. I haven't filmed the intro yet, so I don't know what I'm gonna say, so I might be repeating myself, but whatever. <laughs> I think a really easy way to start your decluttering process is to pull what you love. So I'm gonna start right there. This is my favorite, oh, camera's down there, favorite NYX blush. This is just the original NYX blush in mauve and I don't know why I was looking on their website today these are on sale for two dollars and fifty cents so run right now and get them I'll have them linked down below they are fabulous this is my favorite this is mauve it's just a really nice shade if you don't really know what you want to do with your blush if you have a bold eye a bold lip like this is just the best so definitely keeping that and I actually used to have a lot of these blushes I've really pared it down to just four maybe I can pare them down to even more but I do love this summer peach it's so pretty for the summer which it's the summer right now so I should bust it out. It is literally just so beautiful. Can you even see that? No, you can't. It's just the most beautiful like peach color with a little bit of shimmer. It is beautiful and these blushes are so cheap and they last all day long. So I, I love these blushes. So that one I'm definitely keeping. Another one I know I love is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Everybody and their mom talks about this but it's really a really nice drugstore blush. You can get it at Target. It is beautiful and definitely keeping that. I'm gonna pass on this. I just got this in an Ipsy bag and it's just a little bit too deep for me so I'm definitely gonna pass that on. These up here are newer. The one that I love is intuition so I am gonna keep this it looks a little bit too deep for me but actually once it's on and it's like blended out it is so beautiful and I love the NYX HD um, formula so I'm gonna keep this one I love that one these three are still pretty new to me so I th should keep them and try them so I have the colors bright lights soft-spoken which I've been dying to try that one and then I also have um, rose gold actually this one I know I like this one I actually have tried and I know I like I thought I got a third one in that batch but I guess I didn't I just bought those two but I love this one these two I know I love rose gold and intuition and then these two I need to try more but I've been dying to try soft-spoken and bright lights just swatched really nicely so I'm gonna keep all of those I love 
of the NYX cream blush formulas. In fact, I know I'll be keeping this one. This is NYX Boho Chic. I like cream blush okay. I would always pretty much rather have powder blush, but cream blushes, as far as they go, this one is my favorite. This is Boho Chic. So nice from NYX. I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, they apply really nicely, blend out really nicely. They stay really nicely. So definitely keeping this. However, this one in rose petal, I think it's really pretty, but this top, oh, just broke it more, is broken. And so I feel like it's going to be drying out, even though it's not dried out, but that's just probably because it's hot in my apartment. <laughs> but if I am going to reach for one, it'll be Boho Chic and not Rose Petal, so I'm going to have to toss that because it's broken. This I love. This is the NYX Mosaic Blush in Rosy. As you can see, I've hit pan. Um, this is pretty old, and I do have a backup right here that is not opened. I've been saving it. So I think I'm going to toss this and just open this one and just have one um, because this does look pretty gross and pretty old. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that. Okay, now I feel like I don't need both of these because honestly, they look kind of really similar. This one's a little bit darker. This one is Bourgeois Pig, which is amazing. And this one is Peach. Oh, this is going to be hard. Okay, let's get to swatching. Just such a nice, bright, fun color. That's like not peach though, that's pink, let's be real. And then Bourgeois Pig. Oh, see, they're pretty much the same, just one of them is darker. I'm gonna keep peach and give up Bourgeois Pig. It's a little bit too deep for me. I probably don't reach for it very much because I'm afraid of it. And just that peach shade looks like it'd be a better fit for my pale skin. Then I just have these two random products left. Let's, there we go. This is the NYX blush stick in the shade Orchid, which I've had a few of these and they're so pretty, but look how pretty this is. I don't even know if you can tell. Let's swatch it. Like it is so beautiful. Like it's just is so nice, but I never try it. So maybe I should put it in my like everyday makeup drawer really try it out and see how I feel about it and then I'll have to decide after that. But it's just so pretty, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one because I just, every time I swatch it, I'm like, ah, I need it. This though, I have tried. I didn't love it. I tried it in a first impressions video and while I liked it as it was going on, maybe I just don't like this shade. I definitely don't like this for the lips. I haven't even said this, what this is. This is the NYX Whipped and it's a like cream lip and cheek product. This is in the color Plush. I just didn't like the way it looked on my cheeks. I definitely didn't like it on my lips. So I think I'm gonna have to pass this on even though it's a new product that makes me sad, but I just, I'm not reaching for it even though I know I have it. Okay, so I'm getting rid of five blushes from that area. So now let's move on to, shall we do MAC or high end? Let's do high end next. Ah, as I was laying out all of these, I found another drugstore one. This is the NYX Ombre Blush Duo thing in Mauve Me, which I'm totally going to keep because I love this. It's a really nice purpley mauve color. So I just wanted to say, keeping that. <laughs> okay, so here are all my uh, high-end blushes, which I definitely have more high-end blushes. Um, so again, I'm going to start by pulling my absolute favorite ones. Instantly, these Clinique blushes are some of my absolute favorites. My absolute favorite is Nude Pop, which is broken, but it doesn't matter. I use the crap out of it. It's just a really nice nude color. I zoomed you in a little bit more. I also immediately want to keep this Melon Pop. I think this is tied for my favorite with Nude Pop from the, these are the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pops, if you, if I didn't say that already. This one is fabulous for my skin tone. It's just like the best cantaloupe blush color. Now, I freaking love these blushes and I love that they don't have talc in them. I've been seeing really scary commercials on TV about talc powder, which is in so much stuff, guys. It's kind of really scary and I'm going to do more research, so... I don't really know yet, but I know the Too Faced does not have talc in their blushes, which is great, at least not in these blushes. These are the Too Faced Love Flush uh, Long Lasting 16 Hour Blushes. I have the shades I Will Always Love You, which is this really pretty like peachy shimmery color. And then I also have Love Hangover, which is another like pinky mauve color. I absolutely love these and I'm going to keep these despite the fact that I have the entire Love Flush blush collection. I'm also going to be keeping this. I guess we can just... No, I'll save this for the palettes to show you all my palettes, but even though I have that whole thing, I am going to be keeping these because if I'm traveling and I don't want to take that full thing, and I love these blushes enough that I feel like I will run out of them in that palette, and these are just so good. So I am keeping these. Definitely going to be keeping my Benefit Coralista, the perfect shimmery peach cheek color for summer. Like, the best. Oh my gosh. Absolutely keeping my Charlotte Tilbury blush. This is the Cheek to Chic Swish and pop blusher in ecstasy. I've talked about this a lot. It is perfect, literally perfect, and I'm obsessed with it. It has a little bit of sheen. It's just beautiful. I also cannot get rid of my Hot Mama Bomb blush. Hot Mama by the Bomb blush. There's English. Oh, it is simply stunning. It is always the best. It's just very effortless to blend into your cheeks, so I'm keeping that. I love all my Bomb blushes, actually. This Instain one. This is very, like, bubblegum pink, which I don't 
I guess reach for that often, but like it's just because I forget about it. It's just so beautiful. Oh, it's just a really nice like matte bubblegum pink. I'm keeping it. <laughs> I'm so bad at decluttering blushes. They're my weakness. And also Down Boy is the best. It's like this pinky, a little bit more nude mauve color, but it is the best. It even has a little mirror and the packaging is just so cute. That's not a reason to keep things, I will say, but need, need all that. <laughs> I know for sure I'm keeping this Tarte Exposed. No, this is Tarte Captivating. It's a really nice, just kind of light nude peach. It kind of similar to like this matte melon color, but a little bit more on the nude side. Just a really nice everyday blush. I will say, I don't like this for the cheeks. I like this as a lip tint. This is the Benefit Lolly Tint. First of all, the packaging is amazing. But I guess I can move this out of the drawer because I don't use it for my cheeks. I actually hate these on my cheeks. I feel like they stain really easily. You can't blend them in in time. But on the lips, this color is just fabulous. So I am going to be keeping this, but I'll just move it to the lip drawer, I guess. So that can go elsewhere. <laughs> I have my NARS Deep Throat, which I'm absolutely keeping because number one, the name is incredible. But number two, the color is also incredible. I actually don't own Orgasm, I don't think. I have it in the stick form, which is right here, um, which I never use. I feel like I should get rid of this. Is it even still good? Oh, it is still good. Oh my god, it's so pretty. You guys, I'm totally gonna keep that. That feels so good. I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna put this in like the maybe try pile to see if it looks good still. But I love the NARS multiples. They're the best. I've had this for a while. This is the Bomb Staniac. It's like their version of um, Benefit Benetint. I've never tried it. I don't think I will. I think I'm just kind of afraid of these kinds of things, honestly. I'm never really gonna want to stain my lips. Ugh, I don't know. Let's put it on the hand. See, it's kind of like that, like, jelly kind of situation. I don't know, man. I don't know. I've, no I've had it for, like, a year. I've never reached for it. I'm passing it on. I'm also going to pass on this Beauty For Real um, double-ended duo stick. This side kind of reminds me of Orgasm from NARS. And I would like this product, but I wanted this to be a little bit more of, like, a lighter color. Like, something I could use more as, like, a highlight. Like, this is a little too dark for me to highlight with. So I'm going to pass it on to somebody who maybe has darker skin. I love my Majorette blush. Let's make sure it's still good. Oh, it totally is. I got this last year. This is, like, the best, like lazy girl day blush like it's just and it's just such a nice color and it's matte and it's like weird because it's cream but it dries to powder and it's just fabulous so and also hello this packaging is incredible i also love these i'm debating if i need to keep both of them i'm definitely keeping doll face these are amazing they're kind of like push pops like the i just remember as a kid eating the flintstones push pops and you kind of just push them up like that. And they're like kind of like a cheek stain, but they're very subtle. Like they're not like, oh my God, you have so much on your cheeks. They also smell like Fruity Pebbles, speaking of the Flintstones. <laughs> so I'm keeping doll face. It, it, they're also very buildable, which I enjoy because it's not like terrifying to use. You just kind of have to like stamp it on, blend it out, stamp on a little bit more, let it dry. They're the best. So I'm going to be keeping doll face. This one is in Blissful. Um, oh, this one doesn't look like it's, like, good anymore. Like, I feel like I, yeah, that one definitely needs to go. It, also, that's, like, a really terrifying red color that that's probably why I'm not using it, so I'm gonna pass that on. I love this cargo blush. This is in the shade The Big Easy. I've had this for a while. My mom gave me this a while ago. This is great for stage makeup. I haven't done a show in a really long time, but I do musical theater shows, and this would always be in my theater bag because, like, it lasts through sweat, lasts through however long your damn show is. Like, it is the best. It's also a really nice, just neutral, brings a little bit of light to your cheeks and it's I love this blush I want to try more from cargo I but I haven't so okay <laughs> but as we can see I don't need any more makeup okay let's move what we have left into the center this is this thing from Stila. This is the Rose Water, what is this called? Aqua Glow Watercolor Blush which I bought this to do a first impressions and it was nice like it was super nice but it's like i haven't reached for it again am i gonna use it i don't know it's very light in color it was great for like a summer day but i just don't know if i'm gonna use it again this might have to go in the maybe pile or just like a no because it also isn't even showing up that much i'm gonna pass this on because i completely forgot i owned it <laughs> i do know i want to keep this this is another one of the cheek pop blush pops in pansy pop i kind of really love to wear lavender blush in the winter i think it's really nice and nice like light pink lavender flush to your cheeks is really pretty so i'm keeping that one i also have peach pop berry pop and ginger pop which ginger pop was my first one which i think like it looks kind of really scary but then once you blend it in it's a nice fall blush color berry pop i don't know if i've ever even touched i think my mom gave me berry pop yeah that's kind of like a really terrifying color for me yeah i'm gonna have to pass that one on i do love the formula though that's hard to pass on and then peach pop 
is just a really nice peach. Oh yes, peach pop is here to stay. And so is Ginger Pop because it's the best for the fall. This is the Tarte Blush in Thankful. It's one of the mini sizes, but it's just a really pretty color. That was a terrible place to swatch. It's beautiful, but I have so much blush and I never reach for this. Um, so I think I'm gonna pass this on. I do have like a tiny makeup travel section in my um, drawers and this is gonna go in there too. I love Benefit Bella Bomba. I think they discontinued this blush because I can never find it and I totally would have bought it in full size if I saw it, but I'm pretty sure they discontinued it, but it's a really pretty, it's kind of similar to Coralista, but it's just a little bit more on the pink side. Like this is peach, this is pink, as you can see. This I am gonna keep, but I am gonna put it in my travel makeup section with all my other little tiny makeups, so. Okay. <laughs> this is a Laura Geller blush. I remember I got in a Birch, uh, yeah, Birch box. This is the Blush and Brighten Pink Grapefruit. I remember being obsessed with it, but then I guess I forgot I had it. Oh, but it is really pretty. Why is decluttering blush so hard? Can you see that? Ugh, I'm keeping that. That's too pretty to pass on. And then last but not least for this section, we have the Benefit Fine One One. This is a really cute product. It's like a little stick and it's really nice because you just kind of blend it all in together on your cheeks and then blend it out and it's kind of like a sheer wash of color. You can also use it on your lips, but it's really nice. It's also nice to like throw in your purse and I totally love it. And it's just a fun product. I love Benefit. Okay, now time for MAC. Okay, here's my entire MAC blush collection. Besides eyeshadows, that's all I really have from MAC. Maybe a, like a highlight and a bronzer here and there, but blush is really where I got crazy. I haven't bought MAC anything in a really long time. I don't know why, I just haven't. Um, but I did go, as we all have, I went through a hardcore MAC specifically blush and eyeshadow phase. Um, and some of these I really, really do love. I do prefer my Makeup Geek blushes better than these but I still really like some of these. So, pulling out our favorites first. Well, first off, let's get the elephant out of the room. These three Disney villain things will be mine forever. Yes, they're probably old and, well, powders are fine. Like literally probably 2009, I don't even care. I am keeping these. Like even if I can't use the powder anymore, even though if enough to like deep hand them, I'm keeping these compacts. So I have Corella Deville, Evil Queen, and Maleficent. Yes. <laughs> Some of my favorites. This is my absolute favorite right now. This is Stunner by MAC. This is a satin powder blush from their normal blush range. It's been my absolute favorite. I recently shared it in a favorites video. Just really nice for every day. These two are some of my absolute favorites. I love this one. This is called Launch Away for Summer, which has the really cute nautical packaging. This one is kind of just like, a, it looks kind of like nothing really, but it's so nice on your cheeks for days where like you have heavy eyes or heavy lips. It's just one of those great colors. And then this is one of the best for summer when I have a little bit of a tan. This is from the same line called Fleet Fast, the best. This one I've hit pan on. This is Well Dressed, everybody's favorite. It's a really nice, just everyday pink blush color. I'll be keeping that. I zoomed in a little bit. This I have to keep because of the packaging, but also I love the blush inside. This is from the Archie's Girls collection. This is called Cream Soda. So cute and I love the white packaging. So good. This I know I have to keep. This is one of my favorites. This is actually an MSF, a mineral skin finish. This is in blonde. Um, they had blonde, redhead, and brunette, and this one just looked best on me. It used to like have a very distinct like ombre effect, but you just swirl it all together. It's the best shimmery pink blush. Gotta keep that. This one is called At Dusk, and it looks kind of old to be honest. And I kind of feel like I don't need to own this and um, where'd it go? My favorite right now, Stunner. I feel like they're very similar whenever I look at them. And um, since Stunner is like my favorite right now, I feel like I should pass the other one on because I really don't need both of those. So, oh, that's so hard to do. This one's also like really like buttery. You guys, I'm keeping it, I don't care. <laughs> I'm so bad at decluttering blush. This one is absolutely beautiful. This is like super shimmery. This is in Gentle. I always think of Makeup by Allie when I use this because she used to talk about it a lot. You guys, it's so beautiful. Oh, this is like the best for like a little bit more towards fall because it's kind of like a little bit darker of a plum mauve for me, at least on my skin, so keeping that. This is Full of Joy, which everybody talks about and it's so hard to find. And again, it's one of those like lavender pinky colors, which I've, I've always debated getting rid of this, but I actually used it this winter and I totally loved it, so I'm keeping it. This I also love. This could go in the highlight drawer, but um, this is called Honor and it's it says it's a blush, but it's just kind of like this gold shimmer that I like to add on top of blushes. It's so pretty. It's also nice as an eyeshadow, but keeping that. 
You guys, I'm so good at decluttering. Aren't you happy you clicked on this video? I also know for sure that I love this. This is the Semi Precious Rose Quartz MSF. First of all, it's so beautiful, but also this is like so nice swirled together. Oh my god. Did that scare you? Everything's okay. <laughs> it's so nice swirled all together on your cheeks. It is the best. These were so cute. These had little hearts in the middle of them. Well, this one still does. This is a really nice pink color, but it has like a little bit of shimmer. It's kind of like really a, like a bright pink, which I kind of really like, which I kind of really have to keep. <laughs> and this one I love. This one used to have a heart, but I use it so much. This one is called Misbehave. Um, and it's just a really nice, kind of one of those other like boring looking colors. But this one has such a beautiful sheen to it that it's just like the best in the spring. It's so pretty. Now, I feel like I've held on to this one because it's so beautiful. You have, it's like half and half. So this one's a really nice frosty like lavender highlight shade. <gasps> it's so beautiful. Can you even see that? And then this side is like a pink blush shade. Um, and then if you mix them together, it's kind of like this really cool frosty shade that I have to keep. <laughs> you guys! Okay, I really feel like I don't need both of these, and I do this every time I declutter. Every single time. So, I always lean towards this one. This one is called Light Ear. They're really pretty, like, marbleized um, skin finishes. I also have a problem with, like, collecting skin finishes. But this one is just a really nice, like, golden peach shimmer shade. Um, and this one is called Star Wonder. It's a little bit more, like, pinky mauve. Again, with the gold in it, though. Oh, okay. See, I, okay, I can't get rid of either of these because they're both so beautiful. Oh, I have such a problem when it comes to skin finishes. That's why I stopped buying them because I just, I want them all. You guys, I haven't gotten rid of one single MAC blush. <laughs> okay, this one... I think I am gonna get rid of. I've had this for so long and as pretty as it is, and I love that it's the beauty powder, it's called Alpha Girl and it has like the compact. I'm not even showing you, I'm like so crazy. I feel like I have a lot of blushes like this and I never reach for it. So I am gonna pass this one on. Hey, one MAC one. And then I have two of these, which I love. These are the, um, what are they called? Casual Color Lip and Cheek Colors. I have Keep It Loose, which is this really nice like cantaloupe melon color. And then I have Relaxation, which is a really nice pink color, and I use these all the time on my cheeks and my lips, so I'm keeping these. What a success! Not. Okay, and now we have my blush palettes. This is the last of it. I am pretty much obsessed with all of these. These are all of my Makeup Geek blushes. I actually do have two more. I don't know where they are, but I have two more. Loving those. Um, I, you guys, I, you've heard me talk about this way too much. These are my absolute favorite blushes of all time. Definitely keeping that and also my lipstick uh, Z palette. Can you die? Don't die. Then as I said, we have the Too Faced Love Flush blush palette situation I got for Christmas. Obsessed with that, keeping that. Also, my number one love and blush in life right now is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani collaboration blush palette. This is amazing and it's not going anywhere. Okay, I've had this forever, like literally forever, and I just don't reach for it. Am I opening this wrong? It's just shades that like this is too dark for me. I've never really tried that. I feel like I've kept this because it has orgasm and super orgasm, but I could just buy a pan of orgasm if I really want. I'm never going to wear that color. I do like this color. I do like the color Sin. I really, oh, it's so pretty. It is, oh my god, crap. It's just such a pretty like purple blush color. Like I'm just obsessed with that, but it's also kind of old looking. Like, I don't even know if I could sell this because it's so old. Which, by the way, I sell unwanted, like, lightly used makeup on my Shop Amy Lynn, at Shop Amy Lynn. But, oh, since this is, like, kind of old and I can't sell it, I might keep it just because it does have orgasm and sin in it. Ugh, I'm so annoying. I don't know. This is a, this is on the fence. I don't know. Or maybe I'll, like, depot those two blushes. Maybe I'll look up how to do that and then get rid of the rest. Oh, I'm gonna do that. I feel better about that. Okay, love this from The Bomb. This is the How About Them Apples. This is a cream lip and cheek palette. Is it? It's so freaking cute. I talk about this all the time. Let me make sure it's still, oh, yep, still very creamy. Love these. So nice. And then last but not least, I have this Hourglass, um, what is this called? Ambient Edit Light Powder, whatever. This I'm definitely keeping. I love the three or the two blush shades and the bronzer and I dabble with those. I've been really obsessed with my hourglass highlight lately. So I'm definitely keeping that. Um, these are what I'm keeping. I need to sort them back out into their things. And this is what I'm getting rid of, which is so pathetic. But you guys, I promise I'll be more cutthroat with other things. But like I said, I've really already pared down this collection so many times. And I love all of it. And I'm just trying to use it all up. I'm trying not to buy so much stuff. It's always a trial and error process too. Like if I reach for one of these blushes next week and I don't love the way it looks, I'm going to get rid of it. So um, that's kind of how it works for me. So I'm not the best at decluttering blush, as we can see. 
But uh, yeah. Okay guys, so apparently that's the end of this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Click subscribe if you don't want to miss the rest of my declutter series. Click in the middle of the screen for my last video, which was a plan with me, and follow me on all my social media accounts. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.